Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prisoner Architect. So, last time we finished off the campaign, and, oh my goodness, I didn't even properly tile this floor. It's a travesty, I tell you. Alright, let's take care of that right away. Anyway, we are in the new prison. In fact, uh, let me pause quickly so I can give you a bit of a tour. This is hopefully a fairly efficient design. Are you kidding me? Or I thought I had this all perfectly set up for you guys, but no, I apparently neglected to get... Oh, and we're also... Sorry, my throat's getting a little ticklish. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully that's not a sign of a cold or something. That would be awkward. What are you doing? You're preparing for a class that possibly isn't even in here yet. That is... good for you, I guess. Hey there, Mr. Groundskeeper, or Gardener. Yeah, also, I guess before we really start and get things going, as you can see here, I'm building dangerously close, in my opinion, to the edge of the property. Which means we'll have to make sure we're very careful to keep an eye on what's going on here, so inmates over here don't get any ideas of digging up this way. Normally I have a larger gap, and that forces prisoners to prioritize trying to dig their way down this way and then through here. Because, uh... Prisoners try to, when possible, take the shortest route through, you know, the path of least resistance, and these perimeter walls, I guess, value, like, very highly as being, like, an obstacle, so prisoners try to avoid those, so usually the easiest way is to just dig their way that away. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me again, so yes, we'll be taking care of that, and I also, I mean, this is going to be fairly useless, but I figure have some gravel I wonder, can I put the gravel right at the edge of- I mean, it won't matter. If prisoners can get here, then they're gonna dig out. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, if we don't catch the prisoners by the time they get here, then, you know, we've pretty much lost the game anyway, as far as actually keeping them. Um, I haven't quite filled out this yet. You know, the general idea is to make sure there's a nice spread of activities so that all the inmates don't just cluster around, uh... Yeah. Ew. Ew, is that a lighting effect, or is there, like, stuff already growing on this? Ew. We need more gardeners, apparently. And I figured the idea is, uh, a lot of... We could have some shared things that would be shared between Minsec and... Oop, wrong screen. Wait. You're functional. What? Yeah, okay. I had that marked as staff only when I figured I wouldn't be able to make everything. Okay, so this is... Like, the Minsec block, and then over here, once we get everything all fenced in, is going to be the Maxsec block. Once it's all built out and everything, as the workers are tirelessly doing over there. I also figured, I keep pausing the game, that we'd sort of have all the offices uh, sort of semi-centralized. And, um, do I have any anything resembling pipes? No. There is no pipage at all in the solitary wing. Beautiful. That's definitely not going to cause any problems somewhere down the road. And uh, then stuff here. We have an actual holding cell, some parole rooms. These are probably not quite enough parole rooms. And these might not be quite enough solitary blocks. So I'm probably going to fit something else over here as well. And this, these open spaces, eventually we're probably going to buy more land than like, build here, because each of these has 50, so I figure if we can get another two of these, plus like one of these areas, here and down here, then we can have 200, uh, 200, and then we can expand on this side, and, you know, somewhere along the way, try to get to a capacity of 1,000 prisoners. Mostly because there's an achievement for that, and I think there's also a grant for having 1,000 prisoners, or at least the capacity for 1,000. Alright. Let's have a quick look at all the newcomers, shall we? Also, I feel like I should replace this and this with a wall. We have James Brindley, nothing too exciting with you, but... Is that a haircut, or is that a turban? I'm gonna pretend that's a turban, because that looks cool. Duncan Pritchard. There's always a Pritchard in these prisons. Christopher... Se I'm assuming Pritchard is like a really common last name or something. Christopher Sexton. Andrew White. Paul Bolton. Bolton 
also is a moderately common name, apparently. Dan Henderson, who's part of... What do we call these guys? The Red Gang? The, cr the Saints? Because of the little cross on their gang tattoos. Scott Cowell. And Matt Doney. And then... Some more guys. Let's see if we can catch them all. Stephen Shore. Ah, excellent. A guy with a unique name. Oh, and the next guy is Fearless, apparently. Adam Eiffel Tower Eiffel uses miniature Eiffel Towers to stab people at random, possibly because he accidentally, question mark, ate a pound of white fertilizer, mistaking it for the otherwise quite delicious pure sugar. Also thinks he created the Eiffel Tower and should be given it. You poor man, you're clearly not all right in the head. Ian Whiteman, nothing exciting for you. No, oh, this, two fearless guys, that's dangerous. Iago Hellinger Rosa. Broken, hurt, and scarred, a man with a great heart can sometimes be torn apart when he sees a loved one hurt. So if several sent bleh, sentences due to his temper and his habits of causing fights again, or, yeah, to people who hurt those closest to him. Wow, and he was... These must be serious fights, considering the fact that his crimes are double arson. <laughs> Mark Boys, Tom Rowe, Tom Goolidge. I sometimes think we should make this area a bit bigger so these guys don't get pushed onto the road. Ed J and Matt Donny again. Oh god, they're all being run over. No! Okay, we've got some more guys coming in. A lot more guys. Uh, we have Cre uh, Christopher Crease. Creasy? I always think that should be pronounced Creasy when I see it. Mark Cleef. Ian, I think we saw you. I know, I've. I'm not sure who we've read and who we haven't. They're all mixed up. But yeah, the idea is I'm going to bring in like 25 guys every day until we're up to capacity. Oh, you got your own bus. Nice. Crystal Teague on. Found guilty of 10 counts of blackmail, having hired escorts and prostitutes in order to set up various people in compromising conditions. Very clever. But you were... They finally caught you on arson, apparently. Interesting. Oh yeah, also I'm actually relying a bit more on automation this time around about this one guy at the door controls. I think it makes life a bit easier. I should consider putting a door control here so I don't actually have to have someone stationed here. But it's... nice. I also have a pretty big capacity for an armory, but I figure we're going to try not to rely on that too much. Oh yeah, I guess let's also... uh do the good old kicking off a new prison administration by unlocking some grants. Administration, detention, and watch them all insta complete. Yep. All right, right, we have no shower. Okay. That's easy enough to get around. All we need to do is shower, shower. Where is the shower? It's the one room we haven't... Oh, it's right there. It's already clicked on. Here, we'll just temporarily turn that. And then turn it back. Easy enough. Okay, so cell block A. Prison maintenance. And... Anything we have to do special here? I don't think so. Boom. All the money. Uh, we've got this. We've got this. And we'll get this. The reform through education, they did in fact make it easier, since, uh, yeah, only one needs to pass this and one needs to pass that. And while we're here, oh yeah, we've already got everything set up pretty much. Boom. Now you just need people to actually, let's see, government. I don't really want to hire armed guards yet. I want to see if we can get away with not hiring armed guards. And there we go. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. That'll... That should finish itself off over time. And with all our money, let us start building this. You'll also notice I don't actually have a death row or, like, max anything yet. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll build all that down here, separate from the other prison, because I don't really plan on extending further down. Of course, then again... Ex Expanding up and down might be smarter than extending further away, depending on... I guess it really depends on how I structure everything. 
No, I think I think I'll build the protective custody super max and everything over here, and then we'll like just add an extra layer of walls and so forth. Eventually, eventually this will complete. This will also complete eventually. And oh yes, let we let's um oh yes, again quick pause so we can just run the tab. All right. Now, I want to make sure that the pipes, actually, you may, might notice I have this line of drain so that if anything happens to the pipes here, all the water should hopefully be contained, because even though they've, and I guess this was kind of unnecessary, because they did change things uh, in, like, Alpha 36 so that water would not automatically cause things to explode, I think. But even so, I don't want to risk that. So... Let's see, I think the way we'll do it is like this, like this. Actually, I might as well keep time ticking along. Like this, and like that. Should I put a door here? Maybe, is the answer. Also, we're going to be much, much tougher about... Uh, <laughs> Are solitary. It's just a toilet and one square to, I guess, sit in next to the toilet. Or you can sit on the toilet. No beds or any comfortable, cushy things here. Though we're not going to keep the inmates locked up for too long a time. Yeah, sure, you can go out there. I suppose I should consider having guards set here, but eh. We have people resting. Oh yeah, that, that, no, I don't need to pause every time I decide to do something. All right, Ken kennel crate. I don't like the fact that they're called crates, not kennels, for some reason. Are you kidding me? No, that that has got to be a mistake. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's a false positive. We'll let the dogs rest in here as well. I don't think technically. Uh, the canines actually have to be in a, like, the kennel room in order to rest. I think they just need access to a crate, so why not have a couple of crates in the staff room? It'll be good for morale. They can, you know, the staff can have some friendly dogs to help keep their spirits up, a bit of animal therapy. That would be an interesting thing if, like, they add that in a future update as a program, because I know some prisons in real life apparently do that. It's like animal therapy where the inmates actually get to, uh, I guess, like, train and raise, or, uh, like, dogs and stuff. Which makes sense, because, I mean, some people definitely connect more with animals than they do with other people, and I think we can all sympathize with that, since people can sometimes be jerks. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, seriously, though. How many cameras do I have? One, two, three. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I put the camera around the wrong way. <sighs> Sometimes. And let's get our utilities in here, shall we? That should be sufficient, I think. But just to make sure, we'll do something sort of like that. Then we'll dismantle that, get that faced in the proper direction. Like, I'm going to pause for this, though, just because I need my... Yeah, that's backwards, that's forwards, okay. Good, good. All is well. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the regime, shall we? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of sleep. That's all a, a grown adult needs, I think. And I decided to put lockup, like, here, mostly just to get people going to their rooms and also to force them to, if they actually need a shower, because I have showers in all the cells, hopefully they'll actually take the time. I'm thinking part of the reason I haven't built here as well is because if absolutely necessary, I'm going to, as usual, sort of have a little, like, mini shower block in the yard. Because I do believe in giving plenty of yard time and a little bit of free time. There's actually, comparatively, compared to some prisons, not that much time slotted here for free time. And I think if I had, like, really luxury cells and was like had bookshelves or TVs or something in these places, 
I would probably go ahead and have more lockdown time because uh, we can't see this until 10 prisoners have been released, but part of... Actually, I think just looking at a prisoner might get what I'm going for here. Under their grading, like under reform... Is it reform or is it security? They misbehaving... Yeah, there's a little option of locked up. And that, uh... Yeah. And so basically, the more time they spend locked up, I guess the higher the security rating is, or something like that. Though I felt that somehow fit under reform as well somewhere. Or in punishments, that's, that's a thing. Yeah. Now, ideally, if we're going to run a prison that's based around the... Also, does this guy have only a 2% reoffending rate? Nicely done! What, what, who are you? Matt Donny? Nicely done, I say. Wow, look at them all. What were they doing all congregating here? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh. Also, pause again. Um, I'm probably going to save actually building up the blocks for off-camera type stuff. But then again, since I can just use the clone tool, also let's pause again quickly so we can... Logistics. Logistics. And... Let's do a quick count. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay. So... Hmm. Maybe we want the last two cameras to be in the parole rooms? Possibly? Since we apparently have no vision in there. Or alternatively, maybe we want one in the holding cell. But then where would we put the eighth? Why did you leave your station, man? I dash it all. I'm trying to figure things out here. Oh yeah, I should probably get some of these things, like these jail doors, on door timers. Yeah, I want these to be locked open, because I want somewhat ease of access. No, I, I want the door open, thank you. Yeah. Because I want prisoners to be... It, it frees up the guards so they're not always constantly having to go open doors for people. I'm almost convinced there's some kind of mold or moss or something growing on my benches, dash it all. And I do not like this. Also, I should probably put some lights in the yard. We will get to that by and by. Oh, we have, an, have prisoner chambers. We've met you before, Gary Icepick Chambers. Software developer snapped and murdered multiple people after their repeated insistence of using two space tabs instead of four space tabs. David Michaels, arrested for going on a rampage, shooting and killing people after being asked to remove a pair of stolen sunglasses. Paul Botflower, Stephen Ashby, Simon Petit, Dan Turner, Jimmy, Jimmy Sparkle, Forrester Fellows. After being featured in the Observer's 2014 Best of British Startups for his dating products, it was discovered there is an elaborate front for an illegal network of cryptocurrency black market trading in his underground coin mining network. Dun dun dun. Oh god, this guy's been run over. Do care, the insane moron. <laughs> okay. Thinking he was in a simulation game about life for a few weeks, after he found out he wasn't in a simulation, he went completely insane. He robbed a few stores and killed a few hundred people while driving on the sidewalk. Sentenced to five years for kidnapping. Uh oh, ex law enforcement. We have to put you in protective custody. <laughs> Oh, I should be paying attention for stuff like that. Jeez, you almost got killed, Mr. Turner. Ah, and you're gonna be run over by this bus in a second, but still. Never got off an awesome turban. Yeah, that's gotta be a turban, right? Because it's slightly lighter here, slightly darker there, almost looking like it's wrapped or something. Or that could just be the, the hairstyle. Benjamin Hughes. Paul Hackett. Oh yeah, we've got some unknown reputations here, so we're... We're probably gonna have to deal with... Some more shenanigans. Oh my, there's so many people here. Okay, Hughes, Levens, Jackie Shakes Walker. Or, yeah, Jack Shakes Walker's a nervous quacker, avoiding violence at all costs. When he lacks in strength, he makes up for it with a sharp mind, a keen eye, and ace personal skills. His shaking nature tends to stop him being seen as a threat. 
I'd still watch him. Well, yeah, he's serving 24 years for manslaughter. Celestino Tito Costa. The infamous impresario started his career by putting on Punch and Judy shows of stolen puppets. He went on to commit every type of fraud against artists all over the world. Keep an eye on your wallet and don't let him near the accounting department. Wise advice. Jeung Kulrainoa Song. Probably, I, I'm sorry, I probably butchered the pronunciation on that. Dokdo is Korean territory. Dokdo? Dokdo. Do, I think. Probably mispronounced that as well. I feel awful. <laughs> I hate mispronouncing words you know, and names and things in other people's languages. Donnie the Twitcher McRoberts. Donnie earned his nickname many times when in numerous holdups, his trigger finger would always twitch, sending some poor dairy owner to his death. As such, Donnie has as many murder charges as he does armed robbery. If he has a gun, run away. Oh my. They actually finally got him. They want joyriding, dangerous driving, and dangerous driving. Quite sinister. And uh, that's actually probably where we're going to wrap this episode up, with that last uh, bunch of people coming in. So, also, a thing I almost forgot, in... Would you turn around, Mr... There we go. As you might... Uh, well, yeah, as you've probably noticed, this warden looks different than all the wardens, who all look the same, by the way, in our alpha prisons, because in the final version of the game, there are several custom wardens that you can pick from. And I chose the pacifier, because he reduces the overall temperature of your prison, making the inmates less likely to cause trouble. I mean, sure, I could have just chose the old vanilla warden, who everyone just calls warden, who has no special abilities whatsoever. And there's actually some pretty interesting ones that I'll, I'll have to show off, like whenever we sell this prison and, you know, do something else. But I figure, because we're trying to run a very calm, very relaxing you know, rehabilitation facility here with our prison. It, it just seemed to make the most sense to me that we have some guy who helps make people less angry. Oh, nice. We actually have... Everyone seems to be fairly happy so far. Which makes me happy. And, in fact, all our needs are being mostly taken care of. We'll have to see if it stays that way as things scale up. But I'm pretty sure we're off to a good start. We have our army of janitors who are all tired and, I guess making their way to the staff room, by and by? Maybe? No, they're apparently going off to work. And, uh, Williams. What, what are you doing? Oh, this got... Um, this is staff only, thank you. And all this is max only, max only, and... That's not finished yet. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh yeah, we don't really have an exit door down here. Anyway, I will... Really? You're smuggling spoons? Come on, man. Come on, Crystal, don't do that. <sighs> anyway, with all that nonsense out of the way... Who are you? Spiritual leader. I've never actually looked at this guy before. Could you, could you turn around? No? You've got a funny hat, though. Looks like an upside-down stove pipe. <laughs> okay, anyway, I am procrastinating again. It's time to wrap this episode up. So, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any, you know, feedback on what I could be doing to make this prison better or worse, if you like to watch prisons burn, <laughs> um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot, and I will see all of you in the next episode.